the home here in Des Moines, gang activity is on the rise, but so is the number of gangs supposedly operating in the metro. KCCI Cynthia Fodor has learned the number of violent shootings in the city has more than doubled in two years as police step up efforts to stop gang activity. The first shot is the first shot that was shot is actually the one that hit me. Marissa Fletcher shows me how a random bullet hit her six weeks ago inside this door of her home. Went through that lung. And but it ricocheted off my ribs. It broke two ribs and went out my back like that far from my spine. Her sister took a second bullet as more shots were fired. Once she heard me say I've been shot, like she was trying to help push me, and that's actually how she ended up getting shot in the leg. Fletcher did not want to show her face. She's concerned about all the new gangs in the neighborhood. You don't really know who's in a gang and who's not. I mean, and there's so many new ones now. There's gangs I've never even heard of like from when I was a kid. I've learned there are now more than 30 known gangs operating in the city marking their territory with graffiti like this. Police saw 329 gun related offenses last year with 80 percent concentrated in the historical gang related areas of the city and a significant increase in shootings with serious injury or death. This year so far 13 up from 2012 when there were only six. Oh, we have an intelligence unit and a gang unit that uh, specifically tracks those individuals. So we have an idea of who the players are in these, in these uh, hybrid offshoot gangs. A summer enforcement team has officers targeting members, getting weapons off the street, and monitoring social media that has increased recruitment efforts locally. So hopefully that helps keep it down and something like this what happened to me doesn't happen to somebody else. The summer enforcement team is scheduled to be out on patrol through September, but police say a decision may be made to extend that if necessary. Stacy and Kevin Cynthia Fodor, thank you. And by the way, Marissa Fletcher says police have made no arrests in the shooting at her home.